So before we get up and climb on the decks, we want to check the deck locks work. Now we know that they lock out, they're all safe, but we want to know that they can lift off the lock and can come down without jamming. So we have our levers here, different colours, green, yellow, blue, red, black, blue. And these air buttons associate with them. And these all have an air feed going to them, but when we apply the, the button, it bridges the air feed and sends it to the lock. Now, because our lock is on the tooth at the minute, it will stay jammed, it will not move. As we apply pressure to the button here, it sends an air feed to our lock. If we release the air button off, our deck will lock out. As we lift the deck off the lock, our cylinder will have now pushed the lock free, meaning this will go down unobscured. So I've been working with these trucks for 19 years, and this is the route that I take every single time. We go up onto car 11. I inspect around this area here on over all three axles, and then I'll go underneath the prop out to the scissor deck. I'll do a walk round check of the scissor deck, then I'll come up onto the rear of the unit, where I do all four pillars, checking everything around here. I inspect all around this area here, the locks, the decking, everything I need to see, and then I come out around the side of the scissor here, up the ladder, and I inspect under car one, two, and three, while simultaneously inspecting the decks as I go through. Now, you can either take the ladders or the quick route, go through the deck onto the top deck here. I check all the decking, the pillars, right the way through. And as you can see, because we extended that deck earlier, it's a simple step over onto the unit where we inspect all our ropes, decks, everything up here. And that's the route I would take to inspect the whole vehicle efficiently.